Hi, this is Evan at The Marketing Crowd, and in this video lesson, we're going to look at a free alternative to PicMonkey. If you've attended any of my training courses, you'll definitely have come across PicMonkey. It's something I recommend to design your Facebook ads, graphics, along with other tools like Canva and uh, SparkPost. But PicMonkey, as brilliant as it is, has changed its pricing model and is now asking people to leave their credit card details uh, before they allow you to save the... Um, the images that you design so lots of people have asked me is there an alternative to PicMonkey and there is a brilliant one called BeFunky so head over to BeFunky.com and I'm now going to show you how you could for example design a Facebook ad so I'm going to click on photo editor here and then I need to upload my image from my computer select computer and then I select my image there I'm going to click open and here's my image and now I can do lots of things to it if you remember in PicMonkey over here, you've got edit and then you can crop, resize. Well, it's pretty much the same in here. So the first thing I want to do is resize my image down. I'm going to click resize. It's currently around 1700 by 1000 pixels. So I'm going to click in here and resize it down to 1200 pixels on the left and it will automatically change the right. And then I'm going to click the tick and now it's resized down. Next thing I'm going to do is click crop because I want to now specifically crop it to 1200 pixels by 628 and I resized it down first so that uh, I would be able to uh, get most of the image when I crop it so here we go and I'm just going to drag it down here to get the best possible crop and I'm going to click the tick so now my image is cropped to specific size one of the things that was great about PicMonkey is if you wanted to you could then add a little frame around your image so how do we do that uh, we're going to come over here to frames and they have lots of good options here but the one I'm going to go for is border so click on border and you'll see that it puts a frame now there's a big chunky outer border and a big chunky inner border I'm actually going to get rid of um, the inner border just absolutely get rid of it and then make the outer border much thinner and next I want to change the color of the outer border from black so I could make it red or I could make it blue or pink very similar to PicMonkey what was great about PicMonkey was there was a color picker and so you can match the color of the border to the rose or the leaf so I'm going to click on the color picker there and PicMonkey it would automatically change it but here you actually physically have to click on it so if I want the border to be the same as the rose I click on it and now it matches the color very handy if you wanted to match to some branding color that's in your image right so there we go and that's done and I click on the tick next thing is I would want to add my logo and at first glance that doesn't seem to be possible because when you click on overlays there isn't the option to overlay your own image but if you go up here to graphics you can add your own so click add your own select your image from your computer click open and now it drops your logo onto your image and then if I click one corner drag it towards the other I could put my logo up there or I could put it there I'm going to put it up there actually so just put it neatly there and there we are we've added our logo next thing we might want to do is add text so over here I'm going to click on text first glance doesn't look like there's a huge choice of uh, typefaces these are just their presets but if you click on add text you get a huge choice of fonts so if I click down here I can then choose any font that I want so I might go with Broadway here and I'm going to click in here to change my text so I'm going to so get get 10% off Valentine's dinner and when I type that and move it up here you see it has this outline around it which I don't really like so to get rid of that I'm just going to click on the text there and I'll come down here and it says outline color so click on that and it seems to be a black outline color I could change it to any color to be honest I don't want any outline so I'm gonna hover over here transparent and now it gets rid of that outline color uh, I also want to change the color of the text from white so I'm gonna click here I could make it red or blue or pink uh, I'd like to match it to the color of the rose click on the eyedropper hover over the rose click on the rose and now it matches it to the color of the rose I wanted to match it to the color of the green I could as well and then I just want to up the text and make it that little bit bigger okay so 
what this tool has allowed us to do is crop an image to a specific size also we can resize it down or resize it up but crop an image to a specific size you can add a border should you wish you don't always have to do that you can very easily add your logo by going down here into uh, graphics and very easily add text by clicking here final thing is can you save it for free so you click up here to save you're going to save it to your computer and I'm going to call it uh, Valentine's ad uh, from be funky and then I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to save it in here to my folder right and then it's also telling me that they have a brilliant app which they do so if you want to do a lot of image editing on your phone uh, check out be funky on the App Store or the Google Play Store just click X there and then if I go to my computer here and I have a folder called be funky files Here's my uh, image, Valentine's ad from Be Funky. And when I double click on it, that's my image. You can see it has saved perfectly. No watermarks, nothing, and nobody asking for a credit card. That's it. So if you want to uh, use a free alternative to PicMonkey, I highly recommend BeFunky.com.